two, one. As I go, I hope you're doing well. I am doing fine. All right, can you please introduce yourself to the film? My name is Dr. Asamakas Rana. And what is your experience within the film industry? I have, I'm a writer, producer, and director. All right, that's very great. So this is an interview done on behalf of Fatma Sami Sheikh and myself, Serena Zainab Rana, for our media project in A2. So I wanted to ask you a couple of questions because this year around we found a lot of, we've done a lot more research into representation as such. So the first question we'd like to ask is, in your experience within the Pakistani film industry, would you believe that its largest influence or most significant, what is the most significant factor when it comes to making a, making a film for a Pakistani audience? I think that the Pakistani audience um, are a very difficult audience because of the reason that the market size is not that big and they're exposed to Bollywood films and Hollywood films and they expect Pakistani films to uh, be at least at the, at the same production level, mm -hmm. which obviously is not possible because uh, the budgets are much restrained and it's a high risk, high risk market. So you don't uh, put that much money into it. And therefore it becomes a very difficult market to make a film for. Mm -hmm. And obviously not many producers are ready to take those risks where uh, you make films which can compete with Hollywood or Bollywood films. All right. Do you believe that Pakistani cinema and televisions like dramas represent social issues accurately? Not really. Because most of the writers don't do the research in it, so it's a very, um, um, they handle the topics at a very, um, very surface level. They don't mm -hmm. go deeper into it. Uh, we did have writers who would go and take on subjects or social issues and they would go deeper into it. But uh, the current crop of writers, unfortunately, do not have the experience to go deeper into any social issues as such. All right. Recently, a film called Joyland was just released in Pakistan after quite a bit of controversy. Although a critically acclaimed film worldwide, Pakistani audiences haven't fully supported the film. Why do you think that is? Well, obviously, we have our own vices. And the other thing is this, that an art project is an art project and it will never have wider audience, um, audience anywhere in the world, for example. It's very rare that an art film or an independent film have much bigger audiences, whether it's states or east or west, wherever it is. It's got nothing to do with the absolute topic of it. It's just that most of the people would go to cinema not to just to take their minds off things. Mm -hmm. And they would like to kind of disassociate with the realities of life rather than, you know, mull over them. All right. Do you think that ODT services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime allow for more representation of social issues to be shown to Pakistani audiences and therefore enable a more stable environment for Pakistani filmmakers to explore these genres? Well, uh, neither Netflix nor, uh, nor Amazon Prime have, um, there are very few projects. In fact, there is only one project that, they, that I know of that they have okayed. So there's hardly any representation of Pakistani um, uh, or Pakistanis in both these platforms. Mm -hmm. What they do actually had in that too, at a very earlier age, earlier stage, they actually brought in a couple of dramas, Pakistani dramas mm -hmm. that were really, really famous and nothing much more than that. Uh, so Pakistani audience, because it's not just a big market for them, so Pakistani audience are actually compared to see whatever that uh, that is on their mm -hmm. platform. So yeah, it's not representing as much as far as Pakistan is concerned. No. Your film War was on Netflix. Was that a good thing? It was a very good thing. All right. And all right. So why do you think that Pakistani media shies away from representing women in a diverse capacity? We see a very stereotypical version of how they portray women. I think that the most of the writers and producers and directors are not really uh, brave enough to do mm -hmm. that. Um, in my films, uh, like um, all my female characters have been very strong, whether they were negative or whether they were positive, but they were very strong female characters. Mm -hmm. I like to write strong female characters. 
and most of the writers or producers shy away from that. Mm -hmm. I do not know why. I don't have an answer to that. Okay. Um, lastly, Pakistani uh, Pakistani media tends to romanticize women's suffrage. How do you think this impacts the media industry and audience when we see things like domestic violence and abuse that happens? I don't think so. They romanticize it at all. I think it is violence nonetheless, and that's how it is shown. But don't they show it in a more dramatized manner? It's the way that they produce everything. Like mm -hmm. They dramatize, tend to dramatize everything. Mm -hmm. um, because that's what... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's very unfortunate, but that's how they think that the audience perceive. They have no, nobody has actually tried to go and experiment and sh try to show something different or a different way of showing uh, dramas, which our dramas used to be like, like in my, in my youth, the dramas were like really brilliant. They were shot in a very diff brilliant way. Most of the people who were making, and the reason why that most of the people who were making films or dramas at the time, they were actually not graduates of any film school or anything. They were extremely successful people in their own fields. Like, um, one of the best music directors that Pakistan has ever had was Khwaja Kushi Danwar, who was actually the topper of Indian civil service. Mm -hmm. And he was a PhD in philosophy. And uh, Faz Ahmed Faz wrote songs, mm -hmm. one of the greatest poets. Sahir Rukhyanvi wrote one of the best songs, like most of the songs that we know and love. Then um, Amjad Islam Amjad, one of the great thinkers, poets, writers, was the writer. And that guy taught philosophy, literature in Garmin College and MA College and most of these institutions. So the people we had, Dhuwa written by uh, a very good friend who was a civil servant and which is one of the most successful dramas in Pakistan's history. Similarly, um, the directors, all of them, there was brilliant lawyers or brilliant at whatever they did. So they did it for passion. It was never a commercial thing. And because they did it for passion, then it was a successful thing also at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it was not just a industry that turned out play after play. Do you have a hope that Pakistani film industry can come back to that time of passion and really encapsulating film? Mm, not really. We'll have odd successes. But no, I don't see that. Because the system with which the film industry is uniquely done in Pakistan, um, I don't see it because uh, the producers don't get paid as quickly as possible to turn around another project at the same time. Mm -hmm. So most of the people don't get their money from the cinemas and from the distributors. So producers die. And if you don't have producers, you can't have a successful film industry. So yeah, I do not have much hope for Pakistani film industry now. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank You're you. Welcome. <laughs>